I tell you what, we're starting to look like a football team. And it only took four and a half years. Hello. Linfield, to what do I owe the honour? A bid for Will Hall. Did you speak to the chairman? Well, no, no, no. Don't call him. No, don't. I mean, I mean, uh, don't trouble him. He's a very busy man. And uh, to be honest with you, I have complete control over transfers anyway. Oh, mate, nothing gets done around here without my say-so. Oh, the bid. Yeah, no, it's rejected. Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain and welcome to Season 5, Episode 6 here at H&W World. It's on the Impossible Dream as we look to lead this Northern Irish club to some sort of European glory. And today, two games against Dungannon and Larne, both in the leagues. Both, uh, well, hopefully we'll win them both. Larne will be tough. Dungannon, you'd like to think we could win. Now, of course, we are towards the end of January, late is January 21st, uh, and the transfer window is open, and we have had a, a team interested in our player. It is Linfield in for our centre-back, Will Hall. Now these bids, they started off at about three grand. You can see they're up to 13 now. He is not too fast if he leaves or not. So good to see Will Hall's got his priorities straight. Um, we keep rejecting it. The chairman, so far, the new chairman hasn't got involved. So I think this would have been a bid that would have triggered old uh, Paddy O'Flynn or whatever his name was. So yeah, that is that. That it's a good sign that he doesn't want to leave. The chairman has kept his mouth shut, but. Uh, I live in fear that that's not going to last forever. But we have made a couple of signings. The first one, just very much one for the future. You did kind of see this last episode. Kieran Patterson, uh, he's in the under-18s. We picked him up. Was he on a free from Belfast Celtic? We didn't. He didn't cost us anything anyway. So we'll see if he comes off. He's just here on a youth contract right now. There's some good mental stats there, which I like. He's got some decent-ish defensive stats heading to problem, but he does have a jumping reach. So we'll just kind of see what happens with him. But the main signing is a name that will be familiar if you were with me on the Dean Smith Footsteps uh, Challenge last FM. Joe Willis, who we had at Warsaw. He has uh, He's joined us on a free transfer. You can see we're paying him just over £200 a week. He is, I mean, he was brilliant for us at Walsall. He was one of our better midfielders. 23 years old, so he's a decent age. He's got just good all-round midfield stats. Um, a quick look at his career so far. You can see he's had a, a game in the league for us. He's played well. He had a couple of games for Walsall. No, he had one game for Walsall, I stand corrected. Um, never really broke in there, but I think I think he's going to be a decent player for us. It's another central midfielder that we now own. Um, so obviously a lot of our midfield currently is on loan. So um, it's good to get, we've got him and Kundel that we know now, are, they're our players. And no matter what happens, if players recall, you know, if clubs recall their players on loan, we know we have two very decent at this level central midfielders. So that is... Uh, so that's important. Um, that's pretty much all to catch you up on off the field. On the field, we have four games to catch you up on, starting with Glenavon. The only goal came early in the second half when McCreary picked out Ross Smith. So don't let the scoreline fool you. This was the most comfortable 1-0 win you will ever see. We couldn't score to save ourselves. Look at 34 shots on goal. Um... Yeah, I mean, they offered nothing. They literally offered, no, not literally, you can, but, you know, more or less they offered nothing. And it was, as I said, the most comfortable. The only thing that was uncomfortable about it was the fact that it was 1-0 and you never know, you know, what can happen. But, yeah, it was uh, an absolute cakewalk, this one, and it could, should have been so, so much more. Next up, we had the Peaky Blinders Cup. We had third-tier opposition in Amag, I guess you'd pronounce it, City. Let's, uh, let's see how we did. We were behind at halftime. And 2-0 down midway through the second half. A McQuaid free kick pulled one back. Before Goan picked out Burn deep in stoppage time to send the tie to extra time. And we managed to avoid penalties when Burn popped up again very late in the day. So there we go, almost the victims of a cup set. This should have been, and again, you can see from the shots, it should have been so much more comfortable for us. Uh, we just basically, I don't know, we seemed to get done twice. They really didn't offer that much. But they, you know, they took their two chances. I was panicking, you know, with 2-0 down with 10 minutes to go, but we kind of changed things around. We ended up going to wingers and just the one up top, uh, Sinitzen, Gowen, and Byrne, you can see there, came off the bench for us. And wonderful McQuaid free kick got us back into the game, and we did manage to... We stayed in the cup. That's the main thing. Next up, we go away to Linfield. So we may not be in the cup for much longer. Um, but in the end, we did get there. And that's the main thing. Uh, next game back in the league was against Glen Torin. Lucas gave us the perfect start. But Glen Torin drew level just after half time. Francis played in Cardbo to quickly restore our lead. 
and Matt Moran put us two up. When Torin pulled one back. And then stole a point in stoppage time. Oh, I mean, what a stuff up this was. We were brilliant. We were so, so good in this game against a good opposition. Again, 23 shots. I was just thinking when we got 3-1 up that, you know, we're looking really, really good. Maybe we can challenge, you know, to get closer to that top three this season. And then we got done over the top and then that tackle through ball. And I, I don't know. I just, I just don't know. It was... It's a game we should have won, and we should have won well. You may have noticed this, Francis. This is a new name. Um, he was training the house down, so we've given him uh, we've given him a chance to sort of step in and be the the backup Tipton, and he's done okay, to be honest. So we'll we'll keep uh, sort of giving him a, a chance. He's not playing badly, and he's training well, so that's that bodes well. Uh, final game to catch you up on again in the league is against Crusaders. We fell behind early. But were instantly leveled through a McQuaid wonder strike. Crusaders went back in front. We took a share of the points when McQuaid crossed for Roddy to get his first for the club. So we came crashing back to earth a little bit in this one because we were very much second best. Now it wasn't our strongest team, we had to sort of rotate a little bit for this one. Um, McQuaid has been playing brilliantly. That goal from him, well, goal of the season contender, I would say. Uh, it should have been a good enough team to do better than we did, but uh, there we go. Roddy, I mean, we went down to 10 men, I should say, as well, right at the end. Burn, stupidly, just two second bookings. You can't complain about it too much. Uh, I do wonder what life would be like up top if we had Roddy and Cargbo, just two massive mountains of men, and, uh, yeah, see what they could do. He's actually not that tall. He's, uh, he's about my height, but... Um, yeah, he got his goal, which is which is good to see. Now, quick look at what that means for the league table. Can we get back to that? There we go. Um, so we went unbeaten, which is nice. When it is uh, Linfield in the next round away from home, as you can see there in the cup. So that's difficult. Um, we have dropped down to fifth, but we do have a game in hand over um, over Ballymena United. So you know, it's not uh, it's not done. In, just yet but the top three uh, they're just they're just too good and they're too consistent for us but we'll play line top of the table today we'll see how we go against them we love a game against Linfield in a cup don't we and of course as I said it's Dungannon first up they are in eighth they are they're well below us we really have kicked open a bit of a gap there haven't we between ourselves and six it's looking as though it is going to be a top half finish which is massive um, if you have a look at what we're doing here, Dungannon, they're playing their usual 4-5-1 formation. Um, they've done this, I mean, I'm assuming it's the same manager because they've done this for a long, long time now. And this is the team that we're sending out. It's Popple in goal. It's Divine. It's Okocha. It's Hall and Hill as the back four. It's own goal. Hill, of course, is the young right back that came through the academy. Um, we just need to give Simpson a rest. And McCreary doesn't link up very well with Goan. Uh, own goal Gallagher is defensive midfielder. Smith and Cundell in midfield. It's Goan and Sinatan out wide. It's Lucas going up top. And, uh, well, let's see what we can do. Okay, so we can see the team sheets there. I don't recognize any names on their side of things, so that's fine. Um, keep the run going. I think we're going to keep taking... I think I did that against... Um, who do we play last time? Crusaders, and it didn't particularly work. So we'll keep taking some pressure off of them. We are at this point overachieving. We were supposed to be mid-table, I think. Um, so, you know, we're, we're doing better than expected, which is obviously nice. Uh, I'm hoping the fact that we're doing better than expected, that all might also help the chairman maybe not, um, you know, not sell our players on us. But as I said, to his credit so far, we've had bids come in for Hall and he has kept his... I haven't had the protests or anything. Um, so that's all. that's all good. Goal kick here for the pitch is so narrow, isn't it? Um, it does make you wonder if it's if it's a game for uh, the likes of Cargbo. I think is Cargbo on the bench or is Ruddy on the bench? Cross comes in. Oh, boys, defend. We have a real problem defending at right back. The youngster Hill has let his man go there. And uh Yeah. Do we need to go and tell him to, to go and man mark? We do have a little bit of a weakness this game. Both our fullbacks are, um, are sort of prospects more than uh, or potential ability rather than current ability. Um, that's that's just how it is. I don't really trust Boyle at this point. I don't know what we're going to do with him. He should be good. But uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what we do with Boyle. Can we get that? Lucas has pounced on a loose pass. Now, can he find a finish? Sinatan's getting forward. Oh, and it's slapped away by the goalkeeper. 
Um, I do wonder with such a narrow field if maybe we need to look to go with two up top. But in the past, we've done better playing with wingers against their sort of packed their packed team. But of course, they probably play like this because at home, it works for them. And we're not really creating too much here, are we? Let's try demand more and see if that's, that's not working, is it? So we're going to have to switch up the way we're playing here, even though we've had uh, the better XG. Doesn't mean anything if you don't put the ball in the net. Uh, we expect more. We'll pump our fists. Hopefully we'll get more. And we'll go and change up the way that we are playing. And we'll go to uh, we'll go to this. We'll have to get rid of I mean, the wingers haven't done too much wrong. It seems very harsh on them, to be honest. But it's what needs to happen. Um, now, of course, the problem that we have is we don't really have a number 10 on the bench. Which is a massive oversight on my part, isn't it? But we'll make that change. And we'll get back out there. That all looks fine, doesn't it? And see if, uh, well, if we can't go around them, we'll try and go through them. And uh, see if that works for us. Here we go. Divine with a throw. It's towards Smith. Heathered away, though. And are we going to get done on the break? Smith is doing good to get back. Can we, is that a loose pass? Is that a loose pass? Lucas was there. Couldn't quite find it. Okocha with a header down. Lucas. Kagbo's with him. Lucas has done well to hold on to the ball there. Kundel. Back to own goal Gallagher. He goes wide for Hill. Hill gets it forward for Kundel. Back to Gallagher. We're holding possession better already playing like this, aren't we? Smith makes a good run forward. Smith with the first time and can't find the back of the net. But already, that's looking a lot better. We've got... Uh, I've opened my big mouth now, haven't I? Here comes 2-0. Cross comes in. Hill is there. Hill gets it away, kind of. And away again. I thought that was uh, not going to end well for us. They go back. Oh, Kagbo, go and stick a foot in, mate. Come on. Oh, we've all gone running towards the ball. And Popple has, to his credit, charged off his line and done very, very well. This is becoming a long old highlight. Kagbo with a flick on. Here's Lucas. Can Lucas finish for us? Lucas! Oh, the keeper makes another save. And you start wondering if it's not going to be Lucas's day. Thompson summers over a free kick now. Chips it in. Oh, near post. Away by Smith. Where was Kagbo? He should be up there for that, shouldn't he? Let's give them some encouragement. Still about half an hour to play. There's still time here. We've been much better, haven't we, second half? Smith for Lucas. Can Luke... Oh, Lucas has tried to be a little bit creative there. And, uh, well, we don't need that much creativity. Just cross it for Cargbo. Uh, all right. Changes. We do have one change left, don't we? Smith is not having a great game. Let's take him off. Let's get Lillis on. That's us done in terms of changes now. Um, let's raise this tempo up. Let's get rid of this. Uh, the thing with Dungannon is that you really don't want to fall behind to them because, well, you can see narrow pitch, five men across midfield. It's it's nigh on impossible once they've... Uh, once they've oh, here we go. Loose pass. Cargo's there. Lillis is with him. Can Lillis... Oh, Cargo, you've got, you've got to. Come on, Lillis. You've got to finish this, mate. Lillis. Lillis. Oh, he looked like... Oh, and he's put it out for a goal kick as well. You muppet. What is that? And after a wonderful run of four where we looked like we were playing well, this is going to be three games without a win now. We should have done so much better in that second half. We've been done Gannon there, haven't we? Oh, it's the club. It's like a club version of uh, if, you know, Tony Pulis or Sam Ellis was a club. This is what it would look like. And, oh, we should have won that game. So there we go. We, uh, well, we stay fifth. As I said, it's three games in a row now where we haven't won. Two draws and a defeat. That was a silly one. Cargbo's tied. And, well, next up we play Lyon. So, uh, well, what could possibly go wrong there? Okay, welcome back. Let's see if we can rebound from that disappointment. Now, we have had another bid come in for Will Hall. Again, he's not fussed about leaving. And again, the chairman has kept his mouth shut. So 16 grand we're up to. I and mean, it does start to beg the question, at what point do we consider selling Will Hall? Um, I mean, we've still got, what, a couple of days to go in the January window. Maybe I put in like a, I don't know, maybe if we get 50 grand, 40 grand for him. Uh, if we look at the finances... Um, you know, we are over our budget. It would maybe it would maybe help things a little bit, but 
Yeah, I mean, that's it's risky, and I don't necessarily think I want to do that. We have made a signing, though, speaking of being over budget. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a youngster and one for the future, but I tell you what, I'm very excited about this guy. Sean Simpson is his name, 17 year old. Uh, it's, well, we're going to play him as an attacking forward. Look at that vision. Look at that work rate, teamwork. The mental stats on a 17 year old at this level they are amazing. Decent passing as well. Good free kick taker, first touch. I'm genuinely excited about what this guy could bring to us. Um, so he's come in, he's already wanted elsewhere. Well, who's he wanted by? He's just on a youth contract. Uh, wanted by Glenavon on loan. He's not going anywhere. We've got him in the reserves for now. But yeah, like I say, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think he could be a star. I don't think line away is the time to play him. But yeah, I'm really, really excited to see what he can do. Now let's go have a look and see what we are doing here against Lahn. We're expecting a 4-3-3 from them. And this is the team that we're sending out. It's Popple in goal. It's Moran, Denham, Hall, and Simpson as the back four. Own goal, Galley Gal with William McQuaid and Willis. A first look at him in a welder's shirt for us. It's going to be Tipton in behind Cargbo and Byrne. Um, Byrne has been training the house down. He's been taking his chances. He's, he's, he's a three-star player now. He's been improving as well. And he does seem to play well with Cargbo. So let's uh, let's see how they do here. All right, so we can see the lineups there. Waru and O'Rourke tend to score against us regularly. Um, do we have Seth Keach? He is in the opposition lineup as well. So there's a familiar name for us. Yeah, it's uh, it's a good team they have, isn't it? Where the underdogs, let's go out there, cause an upset. I mean, that's probably the only thing we really can say, isn't it? Now, if you're wondering why we haven't got our sort of out-and-out -out best team playing here, uh, that's because we've, of course, played Linfield in the league. Uh, I think it's in midweek. This is the weekend, then we've got them midweek. So we are holding back the likes of Tra Lucas, um, maybe Ross Smith in midfield, a couple of guys that maybe it's slightly better than the, the team we have out here, uh, but there's not obviously much in it. Um, basically, so we can try and put out a decent, a decent team performance against Linfield as well, and we've got away with one there off the crossbar and over. Uh, same with Okocha, who would probably be in the top two centre-backs, but we're looking to rotate them around a little bit as well. Popple with a goal kick, just on 20 minutes gone. Here we go with Simpson, back to Hall. Willis, what can he do? It's uh, not the best pass, it's given away. If he's going to do that sort of ball, it really needs to be going towards Cargbo, doesn't it? Cargbo, I don't say he's lazy, but he's not the most, uh, what's the word? He's lazy, isn't he? <laughs> He just seems to wander around up there. He can't hear me. Let's not worry about being nice to him. There's a ball into the middle, and that is a bad miss. And, um, well, we're riding our luck a little bit already here, aren't we? Very lucky not to be a goal down, I would suggest. What can we look to do differently? The point does take us above uh, Balamina, I think I just saw there. So that's, uh, I mean, it's a long way off getting the point, but, you know, it's a positive. Come on, boys. We've got to be a little bit quicker. There we go. Moran intercepts the pass. McQuaid gets it forward nice and quickly. It's to Burn. Burn to Cargbo. Go on, Hamzed. Hamzed, Cargbo. Oh, he stuck it under the goalkeeper. A 13th of the season for him. And Cargbo has given us the lead. Away to Lan. What a time to be alive. Excellent stuff from Cargbo. Hit him on the break. Moran won the ball well. McQuaid wasted no time getting the ball forward. Burn looked up. Played to Cargbo. They just have a nice little link up, those two. It's almost in a way that, uh, I mean, Tra Lucas and Cargo, when they play together, they're both individually brilliant and they both, you know, they obviously score goals. But I just feel like as a team, maybe, we're a little bit better with um, Cargo and Burn linking up into the wall, the free kick. And I thought that was going in. That was very, very close indeed. But uh, Linfield 2 up over Balamina. If we can get a result here, then that will help us massively, won't it? But we get into half-time 1-0 up. You'd argue we don't deserve it, but we will take it. Uh, do we say please or do we say don't get complacent? I never know what to say in these situations. Um, let's say don't get complacent. Because we haven't necessarily been brilliant. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I, have to, I don't usually do individual team talks, mainly because I forget... Uh, but let's maybe just ask for a little bit more from a couple of players here who aren't playing particularly well. And then we'll just start pumping the fists and saying we have faith in everybody else. Um, do we I don't do we need to change anything? I mean, we haven't been rock solid defensively, but we are winning the game. So maybe we don't need to change too much. Let's give them some praise. If we can keep a clean sheet. I mean, it, it would be a nice thing to do, obviously. Obviously, we'd get the three points. 
But just to show that we that we can defend, we did work on defending this uh, in between the two games. That's what we were doing in training. Um, we just recently have been leaking a few too many goals. Cargbo with a towering header. It's there for Byrne. Byrne's got Tipton with him. Can he go himself? Byrne. Oh, it's blocked away from South Keach. Boo. It's a decent effort. Oh. I tell you what, you've seen those hit the goalkeeper and go in. Tipton with a corner. Cargbo's at the near post. Can he find him? It's towards Cargbo and Cargbo's gone just over. Linfield now 3-0 up. Let's keep praising them. Oh no, I've hit praise just as the highlight began. Come on, Willis, win that back for us, mate. No. Oh, they've pinged it around beautifully and... Well, I shouldn't have praised them. But to be fair, when... I mean, that was lightning quick, wasn't it? There was, I don't think there's too much we could have done. It's really, really good play. We're closing down as best we can. I mean, that run from Ainley was... Uh, I mean, it was quite good, wasn't it? Let's encourage them. What we don't want to do now is let this completely slip away and end up with nothing. If we could at all help it. Um, all right, let's make some changes. We're not necessarily playing brilliantly, all of us. Willis hasn't had a great first game on YouTube. Let's get Smith on for him. Um, I'm wondering if we maybe look to just get rid of this and uh, just see if we can change things up a little bit. A little bit more encouragement. It would be a shame not to at least take a point from this now. We've lasted so, so long. Is there going to be stoppage time drama? It doesn't look like there is. We'll take a point away at line. It doesn't make up for the Dungannon result, but... <laughs> um, yeah, they're going to be annoyed, aren't they? But that's not our problem. The Cargbo goal has, uh, has got us a point there. So there we go, we are back up into fourth, back where we started the episode, I know we started the episode in fifth, didn't we? It's a, such a shame about that Dungannon result though, those are silly points, but ultimately, as I said, we're not going to catch the top three this year, we've just got to make sure we're beating Ballymena if we can. Cardbo, he just needs a rest, doesn't he? Stop flogging him. Yep, yeah, I hope they can keep it going. And, uh, well there we go, that is that for this episode. Smith is going to be, Simpson, sorry, is going to be suspended. That's not too bad. Uh, we can deal with that. But that's it for this for the episode. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you hit thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Um, yeah, let me know what you think we do in the comments, particularly with Hall. At what point do we sell? Um, recent form is just, we were brilliant and it's just starting to go the other way. We need to, we need to rebound quickly. We, and we've got tough games coming up. We've got Linfield away, Coleraine at home. I really wish we didn't have to play the top three in a row here. And what I'll do, I think, we'll come back next episode. We've got the Peaky Blinder Cup away to Linfield. Now, of course, this is the route into Europe for us. We'll skip over the Ballymena game, and then we'll come back for the League Cup final. So a chance of silverware. It'll be a Linfield double. Uh, so we'll get to see a lot of them. But, um, well, a chance to progress in the cup and then lift the cup as well. Until then, guys, I've been Aussie Bell. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.